Right, in this video I'd just like to show you some new tools that I've got for my workshop from Banggood. It's a TCT hole saw set, titanium coated drills, carbide cutters, and it's a 12 piece set and it comes in various different sizes. Um, I'll show you a screenshot of the um, Banggood page that they're on. So the set comes in a good range of um, different sizes. You have 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 25, 26, 28, 30, 35 and 50 millimeter hole saws. They come in the post in this box here and each one is individually packed in these plastic cases with the um, size on the top and an allen key. When you get them they're like this with the drill separate um, with a spring on it. You put them into the main housing there like that, push them down and there's a flat on here which locates um, with this grub screw here. So hold that in place like that, use the allen key to um, lock that up and it's ready to use. So the main body of the tool is made of tool steel. Then you have a titanium coated HSS six millimeter drill in each of them. And then around this diameter here, you have carbide cutters that have been brazed on. They have a good witness of braze on them and I haven't had any problems in use. And when I use this uh, 22 millimeter one on a piece of angle iron and then on a piece of uh, tool steel, I found that looking at the carbide cutter after use, um, I can't see any wear on them at all. So they look like they're going to be long lasting if they're looked after and used with a bit of oil when um, using them. It does say that if you use them with a power drill that the power drill should be above 750 watts or thereabouts for power and you can use these on milling machines and bench drills and I even use them on my lathes. All the hole saws in this set have a 10 millimeter shank so they fit most power drills and they have three flats on the shank to prevent slippage in the chuck so the jaw holds nicely on those. Also I forgot to mention that each hole saw has the size stamped around the diameter which is excellent. And I'd just like to say that if you've bought these type of hole saws before this is a new design made by Drill Pro. They've made a new or ground a new um, angle on the um, HSS drill here which is 95 degrees so it's a spotting type drill. This prevents slippage when you first start the drill on the metal. And I do think these are the best hole saws that you can buy on the market at the moment. They're real high quality, heavy tools, really well made. And you can use them for all different types of materials like wood, ordinary mild steel, stainless steel, um, food grade stainless steel I've used them on, um, plastics, aluminium. And I've even used these to drill beer kegs for the air holes around the diameters of the beer kegs to make fire pits. And at the end of the video I'll show you a couple of those with the many holes that I've drilled in them using these hole saws. And now I'll show you some scenes in the workshop of it drilling this um, piece of angle iron with the 22mm one. And then this piece of tall steel on my Myford ML7. This is six millimeter thick and it's O1 tall steel. Right, so this is cutting a hole through a piece of five millimeter thick angle iron. And I'm using the 22 millimeter diameter hole saw cutter.
and you can see there that the carbide tips on this one performed that with ease and the spring pushed the disc out the back there and that's the finished hole They're also excellent for use on the lathe. Here I've got a piece of tool steel which is six millimeter thick and um, like I said they're great for use on the lathe if you want to put a big hole through something quickly. And that performed excellently on that tool steel. That was the same 22 millimeter hole saw bit. And it cut beautifully. So they're not only excellent for thin plate work, you can use it for thick pieces like this. Like I said, this is O1 tool steel and I'm very pleased with the results.